Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another gold making video. In today's video, I want to talk about a specific profession that I've been making a ton of gold with that I think everybody should learn, and this is cooking. Now right off the bat, the reason why cooking is amazing is because it is a secondary profession, meaning that it does not take up one of your two main profession slots, so literally any and every character can pick this up if they like. Also, in addition to that, this profession actually does not use quality. The items you craft don't use quality, and the reagents you use also don't have quality, meaning if you're somebody who is looking for a more simple, or I should say old school, right, the type of gold making that we are used to uh, pre-dragon fight, this is perfect for you as well. But I just want to highlight how I'm using this profession, so let's get into it. And so, all right, you know, I've already kind of told you why cooking is so good, and this is what this screen looks like. Now, like I said before, the reason why this is awesome is that the items don't use quality, meaning, you know, it does not matter what sort of reagents you use because the item that comes out of it is the exact same. Now, of course, I said that the reagents don't use quality either, and that is true for the most part, but of course, I click on one that uses herbs, which clearly has quality. But for example, this muffin right here, as you can see, nothing uses quality, and most things follow that system. So this is super simple and just makes our lives easier. And so to get started, because I've been getting a ton of questions about these add-ons, and I'm going to show them in use today, there are three add-ons that I recommend. This is not just for cooking, but it will be highlighted in this video. But this is Demodal, Blizzmove, as well as Auctionator. Demodal and Blizzmove allows you to have multiple windows at once. This means that if you are at the auction house, you can have the auction house opened just like this, as well as the profession window. And they also allow you to rescale windows. So for example, I can make this really small if I wanted to fit this on, you know, both screens, or I can make it really big if I'm trying to highlight something, whatever it is. But I highly recommend those two add-ons. The second one that I recommend is this right here. This to craft is coming from Auctionator, which is a, another sort of auction house add-on, a very simplistic version of TSM, I like to say. It's not as fancy as TSM, but it's easier just for a lot of people who want the most simplest process. And so once you have that installed, let's highlight some of the best selling items and showcase what this looks like. And so the first one, as you can see, I do have some favorited items. And the first one is salad on the side. Now this is actually probably the hardest recipe technically to get. And it is because this is a renowned recipe. It requires Renown 13 with the Dragon Scale Expedition. I'm currently 16, but I feel like most people could probably hit Renown 13. If you're not, just keep working on it, but it should be pretty easy to hit. Once you do, you'll be able to purchase this recipe, and basically it is a finishing crafting reagent that you can apply to other cooking dishes to gain a ton of multi-craft. And so as we can take a look, if we open up the auction house, we can see our crafting cost. What I like to do is, you know, hit the search button right here. This is once again coming from Auctionator, and it will kind of do a quick scan of the items we need and populate a current crafting cost. As we can see right now with the given prices, it will cost us about 50 gold, a little bit under, to craft one craft of salad on the sides. Now, the awesome thing is, is as you can see, the salad on the side, you actually craft two per craft. So you're not just making 32 gold, you're making two salads, meaning if we just, you know, put a two right there, we're making 64. So automatically right here, we're turning, you know, 50 gold, a little bit less, into 64, which means there's bound to be profit. Of course, there's a 5% auction house cut, but I have the calculator up on my phone. If we do 64 times 0.95, that is 60.8. So if we just, you know, minus 50 from that, it's about 10.8 gold. We can just round it down to 10, or you can say 11 gold profit, whatever you like. So immediately, just with a quick, you know, one minute calculation, you know, this can become a 30 or even 15 second thing. We can see that this craft is making a around 10 gold profit every time we craft it. 
Now, a lot of you may wonder, and this is where I worry you about using Auctionator or any sort of automated add-on. For example, right now, Auctionator is using the price of the lowest items. In this case, the Lava Beetle is at 2.83 gold, perfectly fine. Hawk and Bloom is at the 4.71, which is potentially fine. And the Saxifrage, or whatever it's called, is at 38 gold. However, if we click on this item, as you can see, it has already gone up in value, just because it was likely somebody posting really cheap and it got bought up. And because of this, as you can see, that crafting cost has already moved slightly. If we refresh again, things will calculate again, and as you can see, it's actually becoming even more expensive. So all I'm saying to you is things are constantly changing. That is why no add-on is perfect. You know, TSM technically works with this cooking because it uses no quality whatsoever, but because TSM data is, you know, normally an hour old, it just won't be accurate in terms of pricing. Auctionator is the closest thing you're going to get unless you're going to manually input this stuff into a spreadsheet. So just keep that in mind. But for example, let's go and craft some of these items. So we already have about 96 of this, so we might as well match that with our Hawk and Bloom. So I can quickly go here. As you can see, somebody actually posted that. Oh, it's no longer available. We almost got it, but we'll buy 96. And then we'll just match that. We also need some Lava Beetle. And, you know, I don't mind buying a little bit more. I always use these. So we'll buy about 200. And so, of course, you're going to want to go to a mailbox. You will likely be outside the auction house, you know, wherever you purchase this. And this is where it comes to step two, which is, of course, crafting the item. Now, if you are doing a simple craft, right, we're only crafting 96 items, you can, of course, you know, put down a campfire wherever you are and just start crafting. But I do want to show you a specific location. Now, there are a lot of these around the map. But if you go into the N right here, this is a permanent camping fire or cooking fire. So if you guys are doing like, you know, a thousand crafts or something, you can actually sit right here AFK and you won't have to worry about your cooking fire running out or anything like that. And so we have made it here. We can open up our cooking and we can craft our 96. As you can see, this will take us about 3 minutes and 12 seconds, and we're going to be crafting two of each. Of course, we have a very low multi-craft percentage and resourcefulness percentage, meaning we might get lucky and craft a few more salads, or we might save a few more materials. But as we let this craft, I do want to show you one other thing. Now, this is something that is not required at all, but it's just a fancy toy that some of you may have without even realizing. If you go into your toys and you just type in chef's hat, you will either see it or not see it. And this is actually from Wrath. However, it speeds up your cooking tremendously. If you guys want to know how to get this hat, I actually have a YouTube short on it, so I will leave that linked below. But if you do decide to grind out this hat, um, I will just stop the crafting real quick. I will use it. There we go. And if we craft right now, as you can see, I think we had like two minutes left of crafting or something and we're down to 30 seconds and it is a lot faster. And boom, we just got a multi-craft proc. So, you know, the chef's hat is not necessarily necessary, but it's something really nice to have if you have it available. And there we go. We are done crafting and we just crafted 96, which if we do 96 times 2, we were expecting to craft about 192 salads, but because of those multi-craft procs, we actually were able to craft 204. Because of the reagent bank, they kind of got separated, but there we go. So we got a bonus of 12 items, which is just free gold right there. Then what I like to do is I just use default auction house, right click a stack, you know, I might post 20, make sure it's at a decent price, and then hit create auction. The reason why I do small batches is because these will likely get undercut. So it does, you know, it saves time not having to cancel and post, cancel and post. I can just post in small batches at a time. And so if we did want to check out, you know, this item right here, we are still on top. Maybe this will sell during this recording, but 
we can keep an eye on it. And so if we go to our current auctions, as you can see in the past about 15 minutes, we have sold some other food as well, which is super awesome. And so that is really how this process works. Maybe we go and post 24, you know, whatever we want to do. And now it's just a waiting game to actually sell your items. And there we go. We have just sold them. Let's see how much people bought. Somebody bought 20. Perfect. And so I can go in here. I can post 20 more and we're good to go. And so now I've kind of shown you my crafting routine. Let's actually break down some of my best performing items. Up first, I've already spoiled it, but the first one is the salad on the side. This one does super well because a lot of other cooks utilize this in their crafts. Technically, you could utilize this one as well um, because it adds 90 multicraft to a dish. So, you know, technically if you craft these for 50 gold, that's like a 25 cost each because you get two of them. So if you add a crafting cost of 25 gold each to your crafts, you know, you can utilize these when crafting right here if you want some additional multi-craft, but these sell super well. Up next, this by far is the best item on the list and not many people craft it. And this is the Blueberry Muffin. Now, this is actually a vendor recipe, which is why I think a lot of people overlook it. Um, it's not hard to get whatsoever. You can purchase it right by the flight path area in the Tuscar zone. I will show a picture, um, but it just costs a few items. You can buy them off the auction house and you will purchase this recipe. The reason why this item is so great is the actual crafting. Buttermilk is a vendor item. Packets are a vendor item, as well as three cheese blend. So out of the four items you need, three of them are vendor. The other one is basilisk eggs, which normally go up for about 20 gold on the NA region. However, they're a little bit inflated right now to about 25. But either way, it's very, very cheap. The other great thing about them is that they sell very, very well. Um, the reason why is these are actually a item used in Feast, which is a very popular cooking item. So a lot of people don't want to, you know, do the intermediate crafting themselves. So they just buy muffins to save time. As you can see, I've been selling muffins, you know, before recording this video and they do very, very well. Up next, the other items I want to highlight are deluxe dishes. Now these actually come from Discovery and there's one that I have not discovered right here. And as you can see, I have to cook the filet of fangs or salt bake fish cake in order to get this. And so what these are, the filet of fangs or the salt baked fish cake, are the simple dishes. So right here, you know, I actually don't have the salt baked, but I have the other three. And so these simple dishes, you can either just buy them straight off the auction house, you can fish them up, or you can complete a quest. So right there you have many options, but the easiest will probably be purchasing it. Of course, this will be server dependent, but right now I could buy this missing recipe for about 30k. I believe because I bought these other ones at the start of the expansion, I paid about 65k per, but they're already down to like 25k and less. After that, you just craft these simple ones until you discover the deluxe, and these are what you're looking for. These are super, super good right now, and I will show you why. The awesome thing about this is that they all share a very similar crafting recipe. You always need this isle fin fish. You need either salt rocks or you need the exotic spices. And then you need two types of fish. So right here, if we kind of do a search, you know, depending on the items, the crafting cost changes. And right now, as you can see, Revenge Served Cold is selling for almost 30 gold. So. 30 times four, that's about 120 gold because you're getting four each. You know, there's an auction house cut, but you're probably making about 10 gold-ish per craft with the current values. And that is kind of how all of these work. What I like to do for the most variety is I like to craft, you know, 100 or 200 of each. That keeps me in stock and, you know, it makes the most profit because it sells the fastest. Keep in mind, diversity is key. Now, if you guys do get the chance, you guys can craft Feast. Um, the Growls Feast, which craft these grand feast, actually comes from the Community Feast, which you can do with Tuscar every week. So this is a drop chance. 
but the Yusa's Hardy Stew is super easy to get. Basically, just go over and talk to this woman. I will leave a little thing of me doing it on screen, and it gives you the recipe right there. All of these sell super well, just check the auction house prices. Then the last one I want to personally highlight is the Faded Fortune Cookie. Now this actually comes from the Faded Fortune Cookies or the cards themselves. If you open these fortune cards, you might get the recipe. You can of course also buy the recipe off the auction house. As you can see, I actually sold it for about 50K 16 days ago, but now it's already down to about 12. So honestly, for easiness sake, you could probably purchase this off the auction house. But in terms of crafting, it is a little bit more confusing. The reasoning is, well, first of all, the powder and packets are vendor items, so that's perfectly fine. But then you have to deal with gem dust and fortune cards. Fortune cards are a craft from inscription, and you likely will always make more profit if you can craft these yourself than buying them off the auction house. Secondly, same thing goes with gem dust. This is from jewel crafting, so you will likely always make more gold if you just craft these yourself, but you know, you can check the margins out, but the fortune cookies do super, super well. And so, you know, I could make this video go on forever, but a ton of these items sell. You know, I didn't specifically highlight it, but the brisket, as you can see, has been selling well as well, and it has a great profit margin right now. Um, crafting cost is about 30 gold, and I'm making about 100, because 25 times 4, so that is actually probably the best, you know, profit margin of the night. So, whatever you unlock, you know, just to look through these, like I said, profit changes by the hour, by the minute, even by the second, so definitely check out, just quickly click the search button, do some mental math, and figure out what's best for you. The last thing I want to highlight is the sales that I've gotten from the past like day and a half or so. Now, of course, not all of this is cooking, but if we dig through, you know, we have some C right here. We have muffins, we have muffins, we have muffins and more muffins. You guys can see what's going on here. We have some more C, you know, if we scroll down, we have some more C's, we have more muffins and, you know, same thing. We have some fish sticks. A uh, salad on the side, uh, fish sticks, uh, the seafood platters, muffins, muffins, see, you know, all of this stuff. And so, just in general, cooking is awesome. Now, of course, profit margins are slim, but that is what happens when you are selling mass-produced items. The great thing about this is that you can easily AFK everything, making your life a whole lot easier. Also, keep in mind, you know, no quality makes just everything a lot simpler, and so definitely check back every day. If something is not profitable at the moment, I can guarantee it will probably become profitable again in the near future. That's what happens with basically all of the foods on this list. Sometimes they're not profitable, sometimes they are, so just check back. But everybody, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope you guys can pick up cooking and have some success with it. But let me know if you have any more questions in the comments down below. But everybody, as always, thank you so much and have a good day.